guys and welcome to your tarot love messages today we're going to take a look at and see what messages the cards have for you here if you've clicked on this reading here there's something here that's meant for you okay um, I believe that you were led here for a reason the very things or the very people that we are drawn to in life is by no means random or a coincidence it is all on purpose so you know you were led here to this reading or there's something here contained within the reading itself that is meant to reach you here it is though going to be a general reading so guys please just keep that in mind if you are interested in a personalized tarot reading with myself one in which the messages are tailored specifically to you and your current situation please feel free to reach out and inquire i will list my email address just below the video here where the show more section is otherwise guys let's go ahead give the cards a shuffle and let's see what messages are coming up for you here With the King of Pentacles energy, I believe that some of you have finally reached um, a place where you feel really good about yourself um, or perhaps uh, in relation to a romantic connection or a relationship here. It feels like a very secure, a very comfortable and a very stable um, stage or phase of a relationship, a cycle or perhaps, you know, just where you're at currently in life here. If you are romantically involved with someone, if you're in a relationship, or even if you're just loosely involved with someone here, the King of Pentacles often represents someone who will go that, who will often go that extra mile for you. Okay, so I feel like um, this is someone who I feel like is very loyal, is very committed here, um, is very committed in, uh, to you and to this connection here as well. This is someone who I feel like now and going forward is going to continue to put in consistent effort, okay? This is someone who I feel like wants to uh, make this relationship work, is definitely interested in building a connection with you, and this person here is after something long-term, something very stable, something secure. They want to build a future with you, perhaps even settle down one day, have children here. So I definitely feel like you're you know, you're connected with this person or to this person um, for good and not for glory, okay? And if you're single, I feel like this is perhaps the King of Pentacles reflects a stage where, you know, you're comfortable with where you're at in life here and um, it just may be a sign that the universe may be preparing to connect you with someone who does have the king of qualities as who does have the qualities with, of the king of pentacles here so again someone very mature someone very loving loyal someone very stable here okay but i just feel like um the king of pentacles um energy is one that is very grounded uh it just feels abundant very stable and very secure as well and for some of you i feel like you're you're living a life that maybe others could only dream of or in the future here it feels like to me you're coming into your power and to me it feels like some of you are destined for success 
for abundance here and for a life that only others could dream of here. That's what I'm getting. Okay. Um, now, the Six of Cups alongside Death card. For some of you listening to this, it could, the, these particular cards alongside each other could um, be inviting you to remember the love, the relationships, the connections, the bonds um, of relationships and memories that you've created uh, with people that maybe are no longer in your life, maybe they've passed on, um, maybe, you know, these people have gone separate ways, okay, someone who I feel like was very, um, some someone who I feel like was very special to you or uh, someone whom you, you, you know, you've bonded with very deeply here. So I feel like it's it's just good to remember the connections through love that are still with you, even if those people may not be be with you physically, okay, but they still may be a part of you. They may have um, taught you so many lessons along the way here, and it's not to say that these energies have have to have passed on. Although for some of you, I do feel like there are maybe anniversary dates that are coming up of um, someone who has passed on, someone who has meant the world to you, someone who has been very special. So I do see um, some of you like uh, just celebrating or even remembering um, someone's anniversary, someone's passing. For, other, for others of you, I just feel like maybe it's a relationship or romantic connection here that has changed through time here. And you know, just as a caterpillar becomes the butterfly here, it feels like maybe this person you know, you had to let someone go so they could spread spread their wings and fly. Someone who I feel like maybe ended up on a different path to yourself here. Yeah. So it's just, I guess it's just remembering here and appreciating the memories, the love and even the lessons here. For others of you, and I guess this is only a small handful of you, but um, I get some very different messages with the Six of Cups and the Death card. And again, this isn't for everyone, but what I do get is that sometimes you have to know when to walk away, okay? Sometimes you just have to know when um, you just have to remove yourself, okay, uh, from someone, remove yourself from a certain relationship. Um, you know, know when love is no longer being served at the table, at the table, know when you've outgrown, okay, a situation or a relationship. You kind of have to look at the things in your life that you're giving energy to. And look, it doesn't have to be romantic relationships. It could be anything. It could be the things that you're doing. It could be career. It could be how you pass your time here. Just um, look at the very things. Look at closely at the things that you're giving your energy to. Okay, and see if that's a space, if that's a person or a space that welcomes you. Because for some of you, I'm seeing that you have to walk away here, whether it's from a certain relationship that you outgrew or from a certain career choice, it's just a choice in general here. It's never an easy decision to make here, but it's all about that, you know, um, caterpillar turning into a butterfly. It's all about that um, transformation here, because if you stay you risk not growing, you risk not evolving, you risk not transforming into this, you know, big, beautiful butterfly here. So it's never an easy decision to make, and I'm not saying that it will be, but I do feel like it's, and it's never easy to accept that you might be walking down a wrong path or a one-way street here, um, or a path that involves uncertainty, unknown, and risks here, but I do feel like there are times in life when walking away is just the best thing to do for your health, your emotional, your mental, your spiritual, your physical health here. Um, and for what, more importantly, for what it is that you're becoming as well. You know, once again, circling back to that butterfly, to that metamorphosis transformation here. So you need to walk away here. Even if some people won't ultimately understand your decision here, um, it's not about them, it's about you, it's about your transformation, it's about 
how you can grow and not shrink yourself to try and fit into something um, or the idea of someone that you've simply outgrown here so trusting that there is so much more ahead for you okay and look in the process people connecting energies may change your opinions their opinions of you um, but you know it's their opinions they're not rooted in truth okay it's what you think of yourself that matters at the end of the day and some of you the message is to walk away I don't know what it is that you need to walk away from I feel like that's a personal decision that you know what it is that you have to you know walk away from and it's not an easy decision I can see that but I feel like it's a much healthier choice that you'll be making with the king of wands energy there's a gentleness about him that is portrayed here it's not a sign of weakness by any means but notice how notice his posture and how he's leaning forward here it's a sign of readiness the universe thinks you're ready for something whether you're ready to walk away um, from a person from a romantic connection from a situation that lo longer serves you whether you're ready to make your next move here I don't know what it is that you are specifically ready for but there is a sense of readiness here that the cards here are depicting here um, sometimes um, you know well a lot of the time you could be walking down a path that is unknown and it's filled with certainties um, and darkness here but to me it feels like because of the king of wands energy the platform on which he sits is solid ground he's gazing out over his dominions here right he's alert but he doesn't look worried to me at all he doesn't look me he doesn't look face to me at all um, because there's so much going on in this imagery here but to me the king's stature is a readiness his alertness is a knowledge of the circumstances going on around him or beside him and there's definitely I feel like The salamander here notice uh, the patterns on the chair here how they seem to be swallowing their own tails here this is a spiritual symbol of re regeneration and rebirth and it's funny that that comes after death here so for a lot of you I do feel like there is a new beginning here a new um, chapter a new cycle a new you a newer version and a healthier version of you that awaits you or a healthier version of a romantic connection or relationship here that is being birthed. Now with the Queen of Swords here, she does represent someone who's had some hard knocks in life, but who remains very wise and very resilient and strong because of it here. It can represent someone who has been divorced here, who has been single for quite some time, um, or someone who um, has gone through similar circumstances here. Okay, but I feel like the Queen of Swords energy is someone who is fiercely protective over their independency, over their individuality here. So. Um, I feel like for some of you maybe it's a sign that your partner here may need to your uh, connecting romantic energy if you are involved with someone may need to understand your need for freedom and how that complements your life here and they may need to um, learn to give you a little bit more space and you need to learn to give each other a little bit more space for those that are single, I feel like it could represent someone who's going to come into your life who understands that need for um, independence that you have. And this is someone who feels like they're very self-sufficient and they're going to enrich your life in a very powerful way here. If you are dating, this is a great position to be in because the Queen of Swords is a little bit selective and hey, you can afford to be, right? Okay, and lastly, you have the Temperance card. Now, Temperance is all about connecting with your guides, harmony. It's about balance, alchemy even. 
Okay, it could signify that you have found peace or a trans tranquility, sorry, and that you're feeling very content with where you're at in life, whether you're single, whether you're dating, you know, whether you have achieved certain goals or aspirations or you're still striving towards them. To me, it feels like you're truly in touch with your inner being and who you are inside here. Um, and you're finding it a lot more easier to figure out who it is that you are, you know, what is it that you want to do, um, what is it that you offer others, what type of person you want to uh, attract or bring into your life here. I feel like a lot of you are finding this um, beautiful balance here of love, commitment and respect or I feel like this is something that you're inching closely towards here. Okay, so it's often an indicator as well if you've been going through some conflict, some tension within yourself, your own energies or a relationship, temperance can often be a sign that issues, whatever issues have been surrounding you, um, they may be resolved here very soon in order to move you forward from something here. If you are single, um, learn to balance, okay, learn to balance um, areas of your life so that you can create space for someone new to enter your life, okay, for someone who is a very loving, dedicated, loyal partner. I feel like now is a really good time as well to go about, to even like set goals, um, because you have that patience, you have that persistence, you've got that. Um, balance going on as well so bringing balance here I feel like overall bringing balance to many areas of your life here can definitely be a healing boost that you might need right now okay so if you feel like you have some unhealthy habits if you feel like um, you know you're paying a lot more time of your time, your attention and your energy to work instead of other things in your life. Now might be a good time to restore some sort of balance, okay, to bring about some sort of balance here. In terms of spirituality here, I feel like temperance here is inviting for some of you to listen to your inner guidance here, um, try and communicate with your spirit guides here. It can signify that you're also finding the right path or you need to find the right path to balance your mind, your body, your spirit here. Some of you, you may need to follow your spiritual path or more of a spiritual path here. And just know that everything here in life is unfolding at the pace that it should be. Not, not any sooner, not any, you know, slower. Everything is unfolding exactly as it should be. All right, and I guess these are the messages that the universe and the tarot guides had for you here. I thank you guys for your time and your attention and your energy. It is greatly appreciated. Um, if you're interested in a personal reading, please feel free to connect. Otherwise, take care. Bye for now.